conformal form for which language because of context free language why was because we have already more or less covered uh, regular language regular language is because regular language cannot make you repeated function call regular language cannot give you opening brace and closing brace matching regular grammar can, uh, cannot give you if then else structure so it is good for only variable declaration and and lexical analysis i will cover what is lexical analysis and uh, only get a token but when you want to have little bit of programming because that programming comes in 1940s 50s in fact computer science starts from programming the programming starts probably you do from your computer architecture classes in 1950s 60s any arcade vac a lot of architectures are there in probably 70s 60s 70s then any programming language needs a, a procedural programming that means a particular function blocks will uh, do something then you call repeatedly that function block and you do repetitively that is you can say it is a have the programming does programming uh, does more or more pop more powerful so that is the thing you see the 1940s and 50s the us come to the fore because the, they have mastered the computer science and uh, same from the japan and so they are using computer the programming part that is how you want to impress upon you the computer is a just not a tool and how to use this tool and to use the tool you need the programming you for, for the programming you need a formal language because programming means deterministic context free grammar without ambiguity nothing else so now before whenever you are start in your first year second semester class in c programming probably you are not aware that uh, what is programming why it is so powerful whenever you are learning data structure then you see that uh, it doesn't it doesn't matter whether you are programming it c or uh, python probably you have covered python also last year so it doesn't matter you have to have logic that logic have to put in some programming languages and you have to repeat that logic and uh, there the python gives the advantage because you can lot of data structures are available and all this and see you have to write it in in your own code but anyway you need a a, a program Uh, which can call repeatedly by recursion or product uh, recursion it, it can call itself like factorial in programming or you need the function you call a repeated function again and again for this you need a language now language means how you write your steps of programming or your algorithm you have to write in a programming language programming is language is nothing but a uh, deterministic context free language and grammar okay so that is the reason we have to go very details into the deterministic context free language and grammar because all 99% of the uh, programming framework of all the language are depend on it and deterministic uh, con there are two context free grammar deterministic context free grammar and non deterministic context free grammar that is a palindrome example is palindrome and wwr that is a language and deterministic context free language is the subset it is but here you have to find it it also uh, the unambiguous grammar i have told you study that what is unambiguous grammar anyway so that is the reason uh, but this grammar uh, has should have some rules and uh, rules uh, the it will be used for parsing uh, that is the syntax analysis and this parse rules uh, it is uh, it is better if it is a chomsky's normal form rules that is the reason uh, rules might be increased uh, any any context free grammar rules uh, can be converted to chomsky's normal form what is chomsky's normal form the, this is the uh, variable and the, on, it can go to up to two variables not more than this and all or a terminal and another restriction is uh, that start variable can go to epsilon if the language supports epsilon as a Uh, language accept a string then it must go come from start variable no other else so uh, that's it so that is very vital and we uh, last we have tried to cover how to simplification of context free grammar we so this is chomsky's normal form uh, that is uh, 2n minus test again it's a linear okay this is a linear it cannot be n cube because uh, n cube is the theoretical maximum of the context free grammar uh, so uh, yeah that's it that i have covered that i have covered yesterday class yeah that's this this one i started yesterday class see this is the uh, this is the rule context free grammar initial rules 
but this is not in Chomsky's normal form. I have to convert it Chomsky's normal form. See what are the bad points of this rule. See here, this B variable goes to epsilon. As for the Chomsky's normal form, only S can go, start variable can go to epsilon. So you can see these violates Chomsky's normal form and these also violates Chomsky's normal form, three variable. These also violate Chomsky's normal form. Uh, this also violates Chomsky's normal form. The Chomsky's normal form says right hand side a single terminal or a double variable. Uh, this also, only this rule is, uh, this rule is uh, uh, to maintain Chomsky's normal form because a single terminal, but this not. So, how to do this? Whenever you see this, you always take a new S0 start and this you should, this is the first step. Okay, and then the next step will be uh, B to epsilon. You eliminate B to epsilon in all these cases, then you will see A to epsilon in comes, but you should not immediately remove A to epsilon. You first uh, steps B to epsilon stage, then A to epsilon stage. Okay, so let us see what happens. Yeah, so here is. See, this is the first step I have already taken. Uh, this is the step uh, I have to imp I have to remove B to epsilon. Okay, so on the left, B, say we, this step we, uh, B to epsilon is removed, but here is B to epsilon. If I put it to here, uh, say here, say here B, now it is epsilon. So now this is comes A to epsilon. So in next stage we remove A to epsilon not in a single stage, not uh, very this thing here, 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 yeah, it is uh, removed, yeah, it is removed, turn on the right, yeah, now this is A to epsilon, now this stage is remove A to epsilon, okay, this is the stage A to epsilon, you can see it here, mm, you remove it, you remove it and A to epsilon, if you, if, if you put it A to epsilon, so here would be S to SA, I put one epsilon here, then uh, so it is SA and then put the epsilon here, then it comes the S, so it is there. So these are the, these are the things. Yeah, let us see, remove uh, this one, uh, single variable, this thing, these things will be removed. So we initially start, then S we have to be removed. Okay, whenever we see this, let's see. Remove C S to S. Where the S to S will come? This is the S to S. This comes. So remove S to S. So this is the comes. I think uh, these detailed steps uh, will be given and you will understand very easily. Just I go ultimately the ultimately this is your starting point only i have told you one two three four six and there are maybe 16 or 17 uh, rules many new variables are inc incorporated and then you see here s0 um, is not repeated here okay and uh, so so uh, this is the this is the let's see this is the ultimate form now uh, that uh, you know, another normal form that is Chomsky's normal form uh, uh, and another normal form is uh, uh, Greibach normal form, Lady Sheila Greibach uh, that is also very important that normal form says uh, that it should start every rule uh, should start from a single terminal and all are variable no limitation of one two or something it may be a, a, a left hand side only as for the context free grammar rule it should be single variable and right hand side a single terminal or a single terminal and all variables. This is the uh, Greyback normal form. This is very easy. This is sometimes very useful. I come to this next uh, slide. And remember, every uh, context free grammar can be converted to Chomsky's normal form. And every context free grammar can be converted to Greyback normal form. And every Greyback to Chomsky, Chomsky to Greyback automatically. And there are some advantages of Chomsky's normal form that I have told you because that is very suited for computer programming because a, a single variable can go, uh, can go to only two variables. So that is very good for binary tree and uh, uh, 
parsing that is very easy and another is comes to Greyback normal form, I, I come to one version of Greyback normal form is S grammar, S for simple. Let's see what I am telling this. Yeah, so first of all see it here, uh, this is, is a Greyback normal form, correct? Because uh, start with terminal, two variables, start with terminal, one variable, start with terminal, variable, it is always a Greyback normal form, but it is Chomsky's normal form, no. It is not Chomsky's normal form because Chom it violates Chomsky's normal form, it violates Chomsky's normal form, it violates Chomsky's normal form. And uh, see it here, this is not Greyback normal form. Why? Because uh, the terminal cannot be at the end, okay? The all terminals should be at the beginning or sh should be one, be specific one. Uh, so this rule violates and this rule also violates. So this is not Greyback normal form. So this is a typical type of quiz question will come, quick question will come to you. Yeah, this is another interesting grammar that is called S grammar or simple grammar. There's a typical question will come in any uh, compiler, uh, any uh, automata formal language question. Uh, a context free grammar is an S grammar if every production starts with a terminal, like, uh, like Greyback grammar form and the production on the same LHS start with different terminals. So here, see here, it is a, first of all, it is a Greyback grammar form okay uh, and it is a s grammar why see here see it here if we see the terminal if we have a uh, sentence consist of a terminal if we see from the left hand side if we see there is a, a single terminal we can at once know this is the rule to be used and that is very very easy for parsing okay but remember if there are two rules with if there are two rules which starts with a then uh, there will be confusion, there will be conflict, then it will be called, uh, then parsing can be done, then parsing it can be done, it is called ad hoc basis. It first go to one step, then it cannot go, it back and forth, back and forth. And in computer science, we will we'll know this back and forth is nothing but a, uh, it is not a programming at all. It is basically try everything and do it. So this is a stupid way of programming. So. Uh, so, S grammar is excellent. If any context free grammar, you can put it in Greyback normal form. And uh, what is the difference between Greyback normal form and S grammar? S grammar is nothing but a specialized Greyback normal form where every rule uh, starts with a terminal only one and only rule. Like here, um, any rule on the right hand side with a terminal uh, with a different terminal. So, you cannot have any other rule which starts with A. Any other rule starts with B. See it here. Here it is not a. It is it is Greyback normal form, but it is not S grammar. But if it is S grammar, it is very easy to uh, for parsing, for top down parsing from left to right. If you see the terminal, we can know which rule to fire from. Okay, so that is very easy. So that is the reason the example of S grammar. There is some programming construct can be done by S grammar, not all. Mm. Yes. Regarding Greyback normal is S grammar and Greyback grammar. These are all uh, uh, different forms. How to put your rules? Because in co uh, context free grammar says your left hand side should be only a single variable, the right hand side any string. Okay, that is context free grammar. Mm. But now I putting restrictions on the formatting the rules for easier parsing. I'll come. What is parsing? Is okay. So, parsing, uh, before parsing I comes, I just go to another thing. Uh, this is a basically a, a block diagram of a uh, compiler. Uh, why the compiler, I am giving the concept of compiler because now probably you have understood that uh, why the, this, this course is very, very vital for um, automata and formal language theory because uh, these are the basic foundations for the compiler and compiler comes it not in your all programming language or all natural language processing or if you do any intelligent application, artificial intelligence, machine learning, intelligence, there is always uh, for acceptance of a string, a string maybe with terminals, string maybe with words and sentences, English of all these things. These are the basic things. Okay. So the first portion is the lexical analyzer. This can be done by only, I have told you, by regular expressions and only the finite state machine. You do not need any any 
push down automata Turing machine. Then this is the most vital syntax analysis. Here you have to uh, find out from your string of terminals. You have to find out by the which way uh, these are uh, these strings are developed. You are given the rules and rules uh, that I have impressed upon you. The rules if you put the computer in Chomsky's normal form, that is better and that is easier or in Greiback normal form. But in, if you put the rules in a standard context free grammar rules, it, it will confuse compiler, it will make a delay, a uh, lot of complexity issues will come. It can be done, but if you put it in Chomsky's normal form, then the your your compiler performance will be much better. Okay, I'll sometimes give a normal form and S grammar. Okay, so then comes the semantic analysis. This this is uh, do, 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 now whether integer can be float, float can be integer, all these things, but most vital stage of compiler or interpreter is the syntax analyzer. Okay, I will come to this. Uh, this is your uh, th this is your diagram. Say if you, this is a C language statement, I am just, if you are not visible, I am just telling it. Uh, position is equal to initial plus rates uh, start 60. This is your say, C language statement. So, after lexical analysis, uh, this is a symbol table. The position is a variable, initial is a variable, rate is a variable, and their values are denoted. This is a, a data structure. It is it is uh, done in your memory, primary memory, and it will be done by the uh, lexical analysis. And uh, there is only a finite state machine which can catch the definition of variable, definition of integer and all these things and put this symbol table will be used by all stages so uh, th see this is more details i can see this is the your c language statement position equal to initial initial plus rate star 60 the lexical analysis what they do instead of position put the value id1 what is id1 is a token equal to id2 initial is id2 and rate is id3 and what is ID1, it is it is written here, position and whether it is integer, floating point and all these things. These are all details are loaded in integer. And this portion is done by only your finite state machines. It is not a single finite state machine. You have a number of finite state machine. One catches integers, one floating point numbers and all these things. Uh, on the say string, character and all these things. C string is not there, maybe character. So all these things, uh, different types of integer, unsigned and all, you just catch them and put them into the uh, symbol table. And if there is any uh, uh, variable name, you start with a uh, numeric, say so 1, so that will give an error. That is called lexical error and that will give you at the front itself. Uh, that's all. So, the, after the syntax analyzer, this is the stage, uh, very interesting, there you have to, uh, for you have a strings of terminals, you have to find it out whether that is a valid string from a given grammar. If it is a valid string and what is the meaning of it? That is, this is called the parsing tree. Okay, this parsing tree, uh, I have told you has to be unique. Uh, I have already, last day's class, I have, to to, I have told you that you can make a parsing tree from the left hand side. So, you can start from start variable S, then the next left hand variable, then left hand variable. That is called the top down parsing. And another, this is a, that is a le uh, I am getting the left hand side, and another is bottom up parsing. Uh, I, I take from the right hand side. Uh, if the rules come, say S is equal to S A capital B, I then go for derivation A, A capital B capital C, I then go for C derivation from the right hand side. So, both way, uh, left hand side and right hand side, uh, ultimately they should have the different trees. But they are the basically same trees. So there should be one and only one tree for left hand derivation and one and only one tree for right hand derivation. Ultimately, they are same. But uh, what I, I want to impress upon you uh, the left hand parsing that is called from the left, this is called top down parsing. So you start from the S variable and you, t you try to generate all the terminals with a unique. Uh, parsing tree and, and there should not be any uh, no no doubt and uh, this is top down another is a bottom up you get a string on the right hand side you try to match to go to s uh, so that is bottom up so that's it 
Achha, another thing I must tell you, this will, this will come in maybe formal language will definitely in the next semester probably or next to next you have to go for compiler class. Uh, there it is, it is called the Bacchus normal form. This is very, uh, they are very, they are big computer scientists. Big means very big, Bacchus uh, and Neuer uh, computer uh, form. Uh, I think these are all more or less understandable by you. Uh, this is a, this is a notation. This is, this is you can say is a variable in formal language. Uh, this is the operator. Okay. Uh, Num id. Uh, these are the, this is the expression. Okay. This describes simple expression over numbers and identifiers in a Bacchus normal form. A grammar we present non-terminals with angle brackets or capital. That is a non-terminal variable. Terminals with typewriter front underline. So these are the terminals. Underline production of the same. So this is basically you see it's a context free grammar. Why? Because the left hand side are all single variable. Okay. And right hand side it can it, it is not uh, regular grammar. Why? Regular grammar cannot have variable here then uh, another uh, identifier, then another variable. So, it is definitely not regular grammar. So, this is a context free grammar. So, this is basically a, a, a notation, a notation to uh, put your rules of programming languages. And you know programming language and formal language are almost same. Okay. Uh, formal programming language or formal language are almost same. This is very important, the Bacchus now form, you can see. And we just what I have told this is a particular finite state machine to check whether it is a variable or not. Now okay, remember with finite automata here, here the regular expression and a simple finite that recognize the integer. Yeah, it is a it checks whether it is an integer or not. So if it is if it starts not digit, so okay. So it is a trap state. That means an integer must start with a digit. If it is not digit, not there. So, digit, digit, integer. If it's not digit, again it's come. If it's digit, digit comes, integer. You know, in Python, uh, you have a big, big integers. So, uh, if, that is a good point of Python over Java and C. Uh, Python can handle much bigger integer and each integer computation. Though it's slow, uh, Python that way, uh, uh, integer handling is much, much better than Java and C. Okay. So, so this is a, 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 a so any lexical analyzer there should be some uh, some this one kind of FSM machine for catching integers. Same you can visualize for floating point numbers. Same in, uh, for other variables you can do it. So this is the lexical analysis stage and this is the parsing stage or syntax analysis. Uh, determine the uh, this is the this is done by all by finite state machine, uh, determining the structure of tokens, regular expression, represented by DFA, I have told you, linear structure, parsing, determining the syntax, and uh, this is the toughest area. Um, this is the context-free grammar, more specifically the deterministic context-free grammar, more specifically deterministic context-free grammar without ambiguous, uh, deterministic context-free language without ambiguous grammar, without ambiguity. And I have told you top down parsing, that means you are starting from the start symbol and uh, taking the rule and try to reach the terminals uh, by, uh, by rules uh, whenever you see the variable on the leftmost side. And uh, there we see the top down parsing is easier to visualize, uh, but it is performance is not good. Even bottom up parsing is good for programmer. Here, uh, you see the com uh, computer much beat human, bottom up parsing is difficult for a human but easier for a computer. So, when bottom up parsing, they try to, they try to get to the start symbol from the rightmost derivation first. It's not easy for, for us to get in handle. Handle means which is the rightmost derivation in reverse. I will come to that. So, that is it, the bottom up parsing, but anyway, through top down parsing, the if parsing tree will be there, only one and only parsing trees should be there, bottom up parsing also should come out with a unique parsing tree. 
then we call it a grammar is unambiguous okay so uh, wh what i want to impress upon you the top down parsing uh, may generate a differently looking parsing tree than bottom up parsing maybe differently but they are basically same so whenever we say the grammar is unambiguous we will see we will take only one way see or if we say the uh, a grammar is from top down parsing uh, generate a unique tree but bottom up parsing may be more than unique that is not possible but for argument sake we are thinking that way the grammar is ambiguous so both way it should give a unique tree so this is the lexical analysis and there the symbol table that i have told you these are the tokens uh, say uh, these are the variables are all tokens these are the numbers all are tokens are generated these are stored in a uh, lexical analysis table uh, the symbol table that table is symbol table and uh, see non tokens are these these are taken out by at the beginning at the lexical analysis because this is a comment section like this is the pre processor this will be taken out this will not be in your syntax tree in a c language like you are declare this will be taken out at the before uh, at the syntax tree. this will not come in your it your uh, syntax analysis stage okay this macro okay so this is it and this is the uh, say how to catch if if is a keyword so this is a regular expression and this is a uh, finite state machine for catching if this is a finite state machine catching identifier this is a finite state machine catching number this is a finite state machine catching real okay uh, this is finite state machine catching white space so there are several finite state machines are there in the lexical analysis phase to get the tokens filling it up in the symbol table now the next stage is comes that is called syntax analysis okay so that is the basic introduction of the so this is the first stage this is called analysis phase is compiler this is all this thing and this is a synthesis code generation uh, first stage is the lexical analysis then comes your syntax then comes semantic i'll i'll say what is the semantic and this is the first stage okay that is you get errors these are the errors are coming this is intermediate code generation the intermediate code generation means is a, you can run it on like kind, kinds of code of java or python so that is intermediate code it is not a particular machine specific code then then machine specific code more optimization of the hardware say if you have a intel pentium or if you have a athlon if you have a arm processor so depend on the particular machine code is generated that is a back end portion this is analysis portion of a compiler or interpreter and this is the synthesis portion why i am telling to it to because ultimately all, all these formal language things will be put into use in the compilers or natural language processing so you should know what is happening inside the any program whenever you run it a gcc a uh, new g compiler c compiler or c compiler or whenever you are running python so what is happening inside this this is the parsing tree okay and this is stored in a your pointer type of structures uh, with a pointer and you can put it a data structure it is stored so what we have uh, today second june what we have started today's class uh, the importance of chomsky's normal form uh, because the main criteria will be the context free grammar and the context free grammar mainly deterministic context free grammar you know there's the programming languages and there are two formal forms one is chomsky's normal form non chomsky's form another is shela grayback form and another is s grammar that now you see before uh, cfg must be simplified you are given some uh, rules how to simplify these rules that i am to uh, just wish to tell you simpler simpler grammar is easy to understand that is always simpler grammar can lead to faster parsing yes and restricted form useful for some parsing algorithm this is okay let's see what this it tells like this say this is a grammar say you this grammar one thing you can see it here anything you can see yeah. first first step see s to ab and now you see there are no left hand side the b variable is there so this rule is then useless so you have to find it which variables are useless and which variable cannot actually go to the terminals 
so that rule to be deleted so this particular rule say a b and you see left hand side no b so delete b is useless because nothing derivable for it then this is also delete say a or a this is meaningless one of the initial production you can delete uh, so that's it if you that delete delete also replace you see a c d a c is equal to a c d so delete one of the initial product uh, so that's it see this rule uh, this d to e and e to e this is not required you can put it directly d to this rule so uh, any rule left hand side one variable right hand side one variable you should commit it in any chomsky's normal form in graybeck normal form left hand side should not be single variable right hand side should so this rule type this after paper rule you have to simplify this e will be useless so uh, this uh, these are the various examples i'll give it by hand note uh, uh, so that's it give your attendance thank you very much